The 70.3 kilometer project is being constructed by Zong Mie Engineering Group from China at a cost of 164 billion Uganda shillings. According to Patrick Oriema, the Noya district chairman, the compensation process has been long overdue. But what is very clear, which is within the law, the Compensation Act, it states very clearly that before you demolish this house, you must first pay adequately for the house that you are going to demolish. Government followers came and verified the affected properties along the road. And it was also valid. Verification team came twice on the ground and the affected communities were asked to open their account. He says that only 40% of the residents have been compensated and estimates that the remaining 60% are demanding up to 2 billion Uganda shillings. He threatens that he will mobilize the locals to put the whole work on the road on hold if UNRWA does not compensate them. The issue is we want to have development here, but also this development we want to compensate you for destroying your trees, destroying your houses, destroying your, your time, you, you know. And that is, that is the issue and the rule, that is the meaning of compensation. So there is no point of contradiction. And I've also been very clear that uh, we are not against development, but do what is, what is due for the affected people. And that is my concern. When contacted, Alan Sempeba, the communications manager at UNRWA offices in Kampala, said the lists of the residents to be compensated have been sent for verification. The project was launched by President Yuri Museveni in early 2015.